Hello, my name is Kevin Anderson with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. In today's video, we'll be talking about screen pops on the 1X agent. We'll be working with screen pops. We'll be adding, editing, modifying, and removing screen pops. You can find detailed instructions for the 1X agent in the Avaya 1X Agent 2.5 documentation library. Okay, let's get started. To configure our screen pops, first thing we need to do is open up our Preferences menu and go to our System Settings. From here we need to go to Screen Pops. And once we're at our Screen Pop screen, we'll uh, add a screen pop. So we just hit the plus button and that will load in a blank screen pop and we'll just change the title to Contacts. and then check it so that it'll be active. Now the screen pop I'm going to be using is I'm just going to launch the Windows contact application. So under the address or URL of a program, I'll just uh, put in the path to the uh, contacts Windows application.exe. And in my case, it's in the standard location, program files, Outlook Express, or web.exe. I could also add any of the caller information that's gathered by the system uh, by clicking on any of these. If my application was looking for some scripted information, I could provide it here, the caller name, the number, uh, the prompted digits, so on. And that would be incorporated with the screen pop. I could also add any command line parameters that I need to, and the available variables are also here from uh, that are collected during the call inbound call. Now once I have completed adding in my address, and then I can test it and bring up my address book. And I see that's working, so now I'm good. And I'm going to have the address book pop up when, when I answer the call. Now I could set it to pop up when it's ringing, or if I missed the call, or if I released the call. In this case, we'll just leave it as answered. And we'll add a second screen pop, and we'll click on the plus sign creates an untitled entry and we're just going to call this command line and we'll check it as active and uh, the address of the application we're just going to go cmd.exe and we're not going to add any parameters but we could if we were our application required it and we'll just click on test and we can see that it's popped a screen pop for us And uh, we're going to put this on release of the call. So when we release the call, it'll pop this the command line. We could also set it up to trigger when we have an outbound call. But in this case, we're just going to leave it on inbound calls. When we release, we'll open up the command line. Now, obviously, you could have much more complicated um, web pages with uh, embedded information. So a lot of the information from the call. You could use it to bring up a web page with the customer's information based on their phone number or their caller name or the digits that they entered when they were first entering the queue. In this case, um, we're just going to do the basics and leave up the more complicated stuff uh, for another time. Now, uh, once we've created our screen pops, we can enable or disable them with the checkboxes here. So we'll just disable this command line one. And now that I've disabled it, um, we can, it will still be set here and available for us at any time. So if we decide that we don't like that anymore, we can just disable it. But if maybe in the future we want to have it back, we can check it to enable it. The last thing that we need to do is uh, we'll just need to delete one of these. And to delete it, all we need to do is select so that it's highlighted. And then we hit the minus sign. We get a screen pop for confirming that we want to remove it and we say yes and it removes it from our list of available screen pops and finally to make the settings permanent for this agent we click on OK and our screen pops have been saved and that concludes our demo for today thank you for your time today we welcome comments questions and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on twitter at avaya mentor 
For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.